Hey, dick balls! How is it going? Do you want to fuck me, mate? Oh, I heard that my sister got caught selling blowjobs in the bathroom. Apparently, they had to pump the cum out of your stomach. Oh, yeah? I heard that you got brain surgery last night and the brain rejected you. Um, you are a fucking asshole. <laughs> fucking, fucking piece of. You made me bleed. I can't believe I have to take time out of my work day just to deal with another one of his de demons that you have around this school. Do you call this a proper school? You call this a proper school because I don't see it being proper. People are getting beaten up around this school. And yet you just sit here like a corporate douche to sign that, you're, that it's not that big of a deal. You need to sort your school out or else I'm out. Look, Uncle, it's not that really big of a deal. I, I just keep beating up a lot. That's just the problem, okay? Look, we're, we're really trying our best here. You see, my... It feels almost exactly the same as that time. Why? What happened? Don't start. People call me a bastard all the time. You see, when I was very young, my parents dumped me at my, at my uncle's place. Probably because you know, they had something to do with some sort of like machinery company, and then all of a sudden they just decided to up and leave me. They said that they'll be back in a couple of weeks, they never returned. Alright, I'm done. I'm sick of this school. I'm done. Fuck this. Fuck this school. Uncle, no, where are you going? Look, the problem is, this school is not doing any favors for us. You got if you you sit in your class while that corporate douche in there acts as though he's a freaking master and knows how to run a school. Look at this place. He's got fucking dogs running around and barking. You call this a proper school? I doubt it. Look, we're financially unstable. We're not doing great. I just wanted to give you a proper school, and I thought you would have maybe forgotten about how you about your parents going missing, and now you're fucking going bringing it back up every five minutes to every single person you meet. I'm sorry, Scott, but this is... We need to move on. Uncle, it's just not as simple as that. Do you want me to fucking, like, go to a new school or something? Because that ain't gonna happen. You're a young adult. Grow up. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go back to work. So you're gonna just leave me here? Back at this crappy school. You just gonna get a hell big time with that! Asshole! tell you before that it wasn't a good idea to move out. You're not gonna last very long. You move in with me. Really? Ah, Scott! Whoa, okay. Dude, where is all the machining? Where is it? Tell me, where is this thing? If you don't give me the money, here's my yet your fucking girl over there is dead! Please don't hurt me! Okay, 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 okay! No! You can't take Jane! What do you need? Come on, honey, come on! Nothing's gonna happen to you. What did you say? She said, fuck you and your question!
Hey, you! Huh? Oh! Okay. Okay, tell me. Where's the machinery? I need it now. Alright. Okay. But, well, I don't understand! Tell me the whole story step by step! What has my father got to do with you? Look, here's the story, mate. It's a long story, but I'll tell you. Turns out, your father is part of a company, and he owes us three billion dollars. All that money was going to be going to our company, but he used it on you guys instead of us. He went on a plane right after you were dropped at your uncle's place. How do you know all this? Because I'm just like that. We know all your track records. We've been stalking you for 15 years. But what happened to my parents? Why haven't I never seen them? Well, all I know is that the plane never landed. Oh, you fucking piece of shit! Oh, Over here! What's wrong, sir? On the ground! You on the ground now! Get on the ground! Hands behind your head! Get on the fucking ground right now! Right down! Faster! Faster! God damn it! You're under arrest for attendance assault! Okay, young chap, is there anything that you have to be requested? Yes, and immediately. I need you to find Jane McAllister. She's nowhere to be found. I need her. Look, we're trying our best. But his location is still unknown. We don't know where he is. We need... We need more tracking devices. We haven't got anything at the moment. We've still not got him in the area at the moment. She's... She's unknown. We don't know where the fuck she is. I'm sorry, but we, we can't let you address that. Please. She's all that I've got. Okay. Okay. We're gonna full search cream. SWAT SWAT team into everything. That help you out? Okay. Let's go. I just heard I heard. Is she okay? She's in this room. What's wrong with her? Well, it looks like she's been brainwashed by those men. I'm afraid she'll never be the same. We'll might have to put her down. I'm really sorry. Scott. I was going to say, but... Look, I need to tell you that I'm sorry. It's me. No. You're not my father. No. Listen. Listen. My father is dead! He's dead! Who are you?! I had to st I... I had to stop. You from being hurt, okay? I had to stop you from being hurt. What? What? Say you want to say? He's dead. Or else you would have been hurt by those men. But you did the best you could, and you got him. I'm. S Dad, you do realize that my girlfriend Jane has been put down because of that company you were part of. She went insane. Brainwashed. It was tough times back then. There was all kinds of things back then. All kinds of pollution where they wanted devices and I ended up losing it all. By the time I got to the crash site, she was already gone. I couldn't do anything. Scott. What I'm asking for is forgiveness. I put you through a, 
I put you through hell. And I'm, I'm really, really sorry. I'm... I didn't think it would get this far. And I'm so sorry. Is redemption possible? Because... I don't know how I can live this life. If you reject me, and leave me, I don't know how I can live my life. Scott. Can you forgive me? Because we both lost someone important to us. I lost Cherie. I lost your mum. I lost millions of dollars as well, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter anymore. And you lost Jane and your dignity and everything. You believe to be dead in the end of it. The end of it all. <laughs> so sorry, Scott. This is the damn I'm sorry. This is a huge impulse on Yeah. I think there is. I, I love you, Dad. I, I love you. I love you a lot. Should we... Do you want to go see V8 Supercars in Hamilton? <laughs>